The Nigerian Medical Association is concerned about the increasing insecurity across the country, which it believes contributes to the disruption of healthcare delivery. Well, this formed part of discussions at the end of its 61st annual general conference and delegate meeting of the association. Kemi Balogun reports. From the northern part of the country to its southern part, issues of the rising spate of insecurity are on the front burner of public discourse. Almost all sectors of the economy have been affected in one way or the other due to its impact on daily living and livelihood, and the health sector is not left out. The Nigerian Medical Association is unhappy with this current situation of events as it affects access to proper health care delivery. The worsening spread of killings, maimings, kidnapping, banditry, arson, insurgency and other forms of violence with attendant social economic consequences. NM is deeply concerned that the healthcare delivery has been severely affected and therefore called on all citizens of Nigeria to jettison dangerous unpatriotic tendencies while urging the federal government to renew its efforts to quickly bring this humanitarian disaster under control. The leadership of the association also used this interaction with the media to urge state governments to expedite the payment of outstanding salaries and allowances in some states in order to forestall any further disruption of services in the public health sector. The ATM therefore strongly appealed to the concerned states, state governments to clear the backlog of entitlement owed her members and endorse any lawful action that those state chapters may adopt in obtaining their due benefits and compensation for work done. The My recent Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19's reinstitution of restrictions to prevent a third wave infection was commended as they urged all eligible Nigerians to get their jabs of the COVID-19 vaccine. A World Health Organization report identified that about 35% of all health facilities in the north were completely destroyed due to insurgency, leaving millions without health care in the region. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.